Right, welcome back to T Boys TV, or welcome to T Boys TV if you are new. Obviously, we are back again with a T Boy Discusses. Obviously, it's been a while. Uh, so, first of all, before I get into all this news that's flying around Luton Town, I'd just like to say why I haven't done a video for ages or a live stream. So, YouTube uh, decided to actually take monetization off me um, until October the 3rd. Um, or I can appeal it um, when I've got the email, but there's no point appealing it because that's not a great thing to do. But then again, I see other content creators do it and get away with it. So basically, if you saw the recent videos, obviously I deleted now, of what I put of, um, you know, KSI, Tommy Fury, all the YouTube saga, um, you know, influencer boxing and all that that was going on. I'll just post clips, put my own stuff up, um, you know, and they didn't like it. But I saw other channels do it, um, and I'm going to name names because just for an example. But I noticed they haven't uploaded it recently. So, Punch Plan, um, good channel, like the channel, but they do the same thing. You know, they do it with all the news, eight minutes, little clips, and then say their thoughts. That's literally what I was doing. They, you know, seem to to get away with it. You know, they had monetization on it. They haven't uploaded recently though. What I've noticed, so I don't know if YouTube said something to them as well. But yeah, it's just annoying, you know, obviously I, I want to, you know, make videos for you guys and that sort of thing. But at the same time, you know, I've built my way up to be able to get monetization. And it's always good to get a little something as well in return sort of thing. So it's a little bit annoying. Um, but obviously I will be back with content as we get closer to the Premier League as well. You know, obviously I'll be doing the Hatter Show when we build up to the Brighton game. I'll be doing Premier League predictions, like table predictions like I did last season the week before so there's still content to look forward to and then if any news flies around you know a lot of news then i'll be, I'll be doing videos obviously we have signed players you lot haven't been able to see my full thoughts on it i've posted clips on that on tiktok and then if you look on there i've put my comments on or my thoughts sorry on signing the players and that so make sure you do check them out but um yeah that's what's been going on people so yeah but i did feel like doing the t-boy discusses today See a lot of you on my Instagram uh, put out a poll. A lot of you said yes, you want to see me do one. So, yeah, a lot of news is flying around. So, I thought I'd do one. So, first thing we're going to talk about apparently, Luton Town are close to agreeing a deal with Aston Villa for the signing permanently of Marvelous Nakamba. It is reported. Uh, the 29 year old spent last season on loan with the Hatters and played a significant part in their Premier League promotion campaign. Uh, obviously, Luton beat Coventry 6-5 on penalties at the Wembley final playoff in May to seal a return to the top flight. Uh, Villa apparently had no intention of reintegrating, I think that's the word, Nakamba back into the squad ahead of preparations for the new season. And a deal for Nakamba between Villa and Luton could be finalised in the next 48 hours, uh, reports the Telegraph. Uh, the Hatters have made Nakamba there. Uh, number one target after promotion with Rob, uh, boss Rob Edwards becoming an admirer of the Zimbabwean. Edwards previously said he's been brilliant. I keep my joking about it. I uh, keep joking about it. Sorry, but I'm serious as well. I keep telling everyone, and I say it to the lads. He's my favourite player in world football at the moment, uh, which is obviously a massive thing to say. Uh, and then a bit more on it uh, as well. Uh, he, he can do what he wants. He's been great. So humble. The charity work he does back home. Uh, he came into our club so humble. He smiles every day. He trains exactly how he plays. Uh, he will kick people in training. He will train like that. But he's uh, the real bit of glue that's brought us together. He's made us even more resilient. We were doing well before he came in. But he's been a fantastic signing. No doubt about it. His human qualities as well. And what he does on the pitch. He's been top. Um, and then obviously Nakamba joined Villa from Club Rouge in 2019 in a deal worth more than 11 million and went on to make 68 appearances in Claret and Blue. So, like I said, according to the Telegraph, it does look like Nakamba is getting closer uh, to joining Luton Town permanently, which is interesting because, you know, obviously he was our number one target, like I said. Um, you know, we a lot of our fans were saying, let's try and get back permanently, including myself. Obviously, the wages seem to be a bit of an issue, so it looked like we were going to potentially get him on loan um, again this season. But now it looks like we are getting him permanently. Uh, so let me know how you feel about this one. Me, personally, I'm buzzing. 
Um, you know, if this is true because he's, he was massive for us last season, you know, when he come in in January, you could see his Premier League quality already, you know, just the way he was, you know, holding up the ball, getting it, covering the defence, you know, that sort of thing. He was a fan favourite. You know, I remember going Sunderland away and I saw a lot of uh, Zimbabwean flags. So massive, absolutely massive if we are able to get him and this news is true. You know, we do need a CDM, um, I do feel. And, it, you know, he's played he's played the odd games in the Premier League, you know, obviously under Steven Gerrard. And to be fair, as much as Gerrard's time at Villa wasn't great, I remember Nakamba played a lot of them games and he, he did look like a standout in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, man, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, we'll see if this does happen. I'll be very happy uh, with this news. Sorry, my phone came up 20%. <laughs> so it's a little bit annoying. But let me know what you guys think if this news is true on the camber returning to Luton Town. Moving on to the next news, uh, which is another player we are being linked with. Um, you know, reports were flying out the other day. Uh, from the Sun, which is not too reliable, but I just want to get your guys' thoughts on it. Uh, read a bit about it um, before I ask you your thoughts on it. So, apparently, we are interested in Inter Miami's Joseph Martinez. Um, according to the Sun, like I said, Venezuela International is on the Hatter's radar as manager Rob Edwards looks to America for new signings. If Martinez now a target head, head, uh, for Luton ahead of their first season back in the top flight in over 30 years. As per the report, Inter Miami have already placed a 10 million um, price tag on Martinez, who even at 30 years old would be considered by many as a striker who could do a solid job in the Premier League based on his record-breaking antics in MLS over the years. Uh, Martinez is one of 13 players in the league's history to hit over... 100 goals, with the attacker also bagging the most hat-tricks by a single player in MLS history. And now the Inter-Miami star could take his talents to England and the Premier League with Luton. Indeed, a return to Europe could be appealing for Martinez at this stage of his career, yet with Inter-Miami announcing the signing of Messi and Venezuelan expected to retain his starting position alongside the football legend, I'm not saying soccer, uh, Luton might not be enough to convince the forward to leave Florida. So, yeah, and a strong case could be made that MLS changed from a retirement league to a division where young players are now prioritised. All started with Atlanta's United early franchise for Martinez and Miguel Almiron, who's obviously now at Newcastle. Uh, with the striker set to become a teammate of Messi's, leaving America could be hard. As we know, Luton are early favourites to get relegated from the Premier League next season, so they say. And for Martinez, swapping Miami for Bedfordshire might be an appealing lifestyle decision, especially with now Messi, uh, his new attacking partner. Now, obviously, there's been, uh, you know, clips that you've seen Messi is in America now. Um, so it's mad to think, you know, having Messi and Luton in the same sentence. I'm not going to lie in this, you know, in this topic. Do I think he'll come to Luton? No, I don't. One of the reasons I don't think is because, like they say, you know, obviously regarding, um, you know, that obviously the Messi situation. I also feel as well, are we really looking at this guy? You know, MLS, you know, people go on about, you know, oh, he's, he's, he's done this in the MLS and that. But, you know, you saw Gareth Bale in an interview, um, you know, not too long ago mentioning, you know, that it's he can sort of, you know, chill out in the MLS because it's... Just, they haven't got that, you know, competitiveness in that sense, um, you know, where they're wanting to win, you know, as many games, you know, like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, in England, a lot of teams don't have a certain mentality, in my opinion, um, you know, unless you're Man City, of course. But, you know, Luton, obviously, we're a team that digs deep and, 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 and wants to prove people wrong. So, I can't see it. I can't see it, um, you know, personally. Uh, like I say, because of the Bedfordshire thing, you know, it's not an attractive decision. Um, and obviously, Messi going, I think that's going to, you know, he's going to not move because of that. And I don't actually think we are interested in him, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, it's that, that's what I think on it. But let me know what you think on it. Uh, will Joseph Martinez come to Luton Town? Let me know. But the last thing I'm going to talk about uh, did come out today. 
um, is the home kit. What do you guys make of it? Now, I remember last season, I looked at the kit and I was thinking to myself, oh, I don't know. But that was the first glimpse, you know. Um, then I actually looked a bit more at it. You know, the more and more you look at it, the more and more it starts to, you know, appeal to you. I also, you know, had the history behind it. We had a kit very similar looking, you know, but a while ago as well, uh, many, many years ago. But this one, it just, you know, first time seeing it, it appealed to me straight away. Uh, definitely will be getting it. I will be asking for it for my birthday. Um, so if any of my family watch this that do get me the shirts, there you go. Um, but no, I really like it. Really like it, you know, based on what I've seen. I like the utility. I like the way it's faded on the shirt. Um, and yeah, it looks good, man. It looks good. You know, we're reverting back to an old kit as well. You know, linking it with that similar to last season's. So, yeah, man, I really like the kit. I really like the kit. And like I say, I'll definitely be getting one. Um, obviously, we are waiting uh, for the third and away kit. Um, and obviously, you know, when they come out, I'll have a little look and see what I think of them as well. But, yeah, people, that is where I'm going to wrap up this T-Boy Discusses. So, let me know your thoughts on everything that I've discussed in today's one. Obviously, Nakamba, is he actually going to come back to Luton Town? Will Joseph Martinez come to Luton Town? And let me know your thoughts on the home kit for the upcoming Premier League season. But yeah, don't forget to smash a like if you haven't already. Do subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell. Share the video. Share the channel. If you do want to follow me across any of my socials, link to them are in the description. And yeah, man, until next time, I will see you lot in a bit. So take care and peace.